hello hello happy sunday everyone happy sunday welcome to mimi's inspirational spot and where is my inspirational spot today it is in my car in my parking lot on my way home i just got off from work um and i'm heading home i'm heading home i am i am blessed i thank god for you guys that are joining in good morning good afternoon good evening and good night depending on when you're tuning in right um i'm gonna make it quick i had it in my heart for a while now to just come and and share this with you listen first and foremost i'm, I'm gonna put it out there when god um inspire you to do something when god you know, impress in your heart to do something, I want you to go ahead and do it. Remember, delayed obedience is still disobedience. And I'm speaking for myself. I don't want you guys to be like me. Um, if God impress in your heart to do something, and I know there's a lot of people out there who are saying a whole bunch of things about people who are, are like you and I, who truly believe in the Lord and want to share our experiences, share our knowledge with um, fellow believers, right? As people think that there's too many um, people sharing their their faith, too many people sharing their opinion. And you know what? When you think about the fact that there's over 7 billion people in this world, so over 7 billion people. And when you think of the fact that Jesus says that he is going to return at, um, um, when his he, the sign of his return will be when the his word has been preached in all four corners of this world, right? So meaning everybody have had the opportunity to hear the word of God, right? Um, and has in all areas have been covered. When you think about that, then you realize there is not enough. There is not enough of Bible belief faith base Christians putting out you know truthful contents out out there so there are a whole bunch of people talking um, on social media but if you truly stand on the Word of God if you truly believe in Jesus Christ that he came he died he resurrected and he's to come again if you know that the the word of God both old and new has come together to give you a canonized complete um you know um sufficient um information for us to know who our God the God who created the heavens and the earth is then I wouldn't encourage you I would encourage you based on what you know, you learn and see God. And because the Great Commission is for everyone. Go out there, you know, share your love for Christ with others. Nobody's actually asking you to go out there and be theologians. Nobody's asking you to go out there and, um, um, and, 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 and speak on things you do not know. But what you do know, even if it's sharing a testimony, in Revelations, the word of God says that we overcome the, um, by the blood of the lamb and the testimonies, by te our testimonies. The fact that we can testify, we can stand and say, yes, I know that Jesus is Lord because he has done X, Y, and Z in my life is a great thing amen so I do encourage you to share your faith um, truthful contents do not share anything that you're not sure of make sure what you're sharing is solid and it is to the best of your knowledge and your your um, your understanding the truth amen now having said all that I don't even know where I get where why I geared that but knowing God it was for someone in Whoever you are, please receive it and go forth. Um, so praise the Lord. So what I really wanted to come on here and, and speak to you guys is this about, I wanted to ask you first and foremost, what is your routine with God? What is your daily routine with the Lord? You know, too often we, we find that um, believers like you and I, when we get into situation, that's when we're cramming to fast. We're, we're trying to 
um, see how we can see God's face. We're, we're crying out before the Lord. We're making phone calls to the elders. We're, we're calling, you know, sister so-and-so, spiritual mother so-and-so, spiritual father so-and-so. You, you're, you know, we're doing all of this, you know, cramming, right? Um, just like, you would say like a, a a student who waits to the last minute when they have a test to study. So often we find that Christians behave and live in that manner. And if that is you today, if that is you today who have not yet built a routine with God, a routine with the Lord Jesus Christ, I am encouraged you today. It is not boring. Every time you come before the Lord, this is our way of life. This is God. He's not a figment of our imagination. He's not, he doesn't give us chance, right? We speak to God. We communicate with the Lord and he talks back. Amen. If I have a witness, you, you put amen down there. Amen. Because God speaks back to us. It's a two way communication, right? And with that being said, I encourage you to do as Daniel did. When you read the book of Daniel after the king had, um, you know, put out the decree um, and Daniel who had made up in his mind that he was not going to bow down to any false god. He was not going to do um, anything that is contrary to um, contrary to the word of God. He, he was being threatened to be put in the lion's den. But what is marvelous about the word of God? I'm just summarizing it. But what is marvelous about that whole story is that the word of God says that Daniel went, went home and did what he usually did on a daily basis. He seek the face of God. See, Daniel didn't wait until he was in a situation to seek God's face. And that's probably one of the reasons why he did not panic. Because he had built such a relationship with the Lord that he just knew. He just knew. This is just another challenge for God's name to be glorified. For, for me to experience something new with the Lord. Let me go to whom I've always been communicating. My God. And it says that he did what he usually did. What do you usually do in your 24 hours? What is it that you do in your 24 hours that would ensure when your back is against the wall, when something comes at you at a left field, you don't, you didn't see it coming. What is your 24 hour routine that will help you be able to withstand and keep your composure and be able to go to God and say, Lord, here I am again. Not here I am, Lord. I haven't been, and I've heard, I've, I hear people say that all the time. Lord, here I am. I know I haven't prayed for a long time. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Here I am, God, I know I, I know I haven't spent as much time with you as I, I should be. But why? You have 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week. You cannot tell me that God, make it make sense. Make it make sense. You're saying that you serve an entity, a being that created all that we know and all that we don't, we have yet to discover. Nothing that is or will ever be discovered have could have existed outside of who God is. And yet you do not carve one time in your day to build a relationship with him? If that is you, you don't have to be ashamed. You don't have to feel bad right now. This is not a shame on you message. It's a realize that you 
have not been doing things the right way, pick it up, write down a schedule, make sure that in your wake up and take care of the kids, drop the kids off, them, make sure there's a spend five minutes with the Lord. Spend 10 minutes with God, read the word. Make sure there's something in there that is helping you build your faith, helping you build a relationship with God. Whereas that when your back is against the wall, it will not be new for you. The situation will be new, but your ability to go to God in faith won't be new because this would be, have been your daily routine. And I believe it's one of the reasons why um, God was able to say to Daniel, even before you, before you made up in your, the, the day you made up in your mind to fast, I had already answered you because I know you, you we have that relationship. And don't believe anyone that says that you can't bu um, build a relationship with the Lord. Throughout the word, we know that God, our Father, hallelujah, our Heavenly Father, his whole heart is to build a relationship with us. He walked with Adam in the cool of day. It's us that's always running away from God. Adam, where are you? The word of God says he walked with Enoch. And these and 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 let me tell you, you have all these great men and women of God in the Bible that experienced such a relationship with the Lord, they were not perfect. So what makes you think that you have to be this perfect being to build a relationship with your maker, to build a relationship with your God who loved you so much that he was able to send his son, Jesus Christ, the living word to cut in the flesh, to die for you and I. And I know people say that all the time. Oh, he, what's the sacrifice there? He's God. He knew that he would come and die and, and he would resurrect. What's the sacrifice? You're missing the big picture. The big picture was that s s someone who knew no sin, a holy being, pure in all its form, untented, who despised sin, despise sin so much the consequence of it is death eternal separation from this pure entity this pure being our father God he was willing to love us more than he hated the sin the word of God says that Jesus became to became what he detested so he could save us. That is where the sacrifice is. To be a holy God that cannot stand sin, I become it just to save you. I crucify it just to help you realize that you do not have to spend eternity away from me. That's the love. And I am encouraging you today. I am encouraging you this morning. This beautiful Sunday morning. Whether you want to, you know, you're a seven day Adventist, whatever day you worship. One day is not enough. I'm encouraging you, build a daily routine with your Lord and Savior. Get to know your God. Get to know the person whom you profess to call on, to serve. Get to know him. And the only way we get to know anyone is by spending time and communicating with them. Okay? And if somebody is in your life and they say they love you, they won't spend time with you. They won't communicate with you, meaning listen to you and then really talk to you. Then my sister, my brother, I'm letting you know that person don't love you. That person don't love you. And if you're married, I would say seek counseling because that 
is signs of danger. And if you're not married, I would say seek the Lord because that is the biggest red flag. Run, okay? Other than that, I again, I don't know why I went there, but whomever is it's for, please receive it and open your eyes that you won't make a mistake or that you would realize that something is wrong and you would fix it in time. Other than that, again, I am encouraging you by the grace of God, carve in some time for your God in your daily routine that when your back is against the wall. When all comes up against you, you would have already known there was a, and built such a relationship with the Lord that it is nothing for you to go before God and say, God, here I am again. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. The word of God says, pray without ceasing all sorts of prayers. Pray. Talk to your God about everything and anything. Talk to him. Pray without ceasing. Build a relationship with your Lord. May God bless you. May God keep you. And if you don't know the Lord, God, and you would want to get to know him, say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner. I receive the free gift of salvation. I believe that you came, you died from my sins and you resurrected. And I believe that you are to come again. I open my heart to you. I confess that I am a sinner. And I thank you for coming into my life today and for saving me. And if you have said this prayer, my brother and sister, welcome into the house of God. It is that simple, but yet that powerful. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, and may the Lord strengthen you. I love you, God bless you, have a wonderful day. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I.